We're going to use this sagittally sectioned real human femur to look at the structures that make up a long bone. The two ends of the bone are called the epiphysis. The shaft is the diaphysis. The shaft has a hollow cavity called the medullary cavity. We're going to zoom in to take a look at the structure of compact bone and spongy bone. If we had a live bone, we would find red marrow filling the spongy bone, yellow marrow filling this marrow cavity or medullary cavity. The surface of the bone would be covered with periosteum. The inside of the medullary cavity would be lined with endosteum and each joint surface would be covered with articular cartilage. Let's zoom in and take a look at the difference between compact and spongy bone. This is a close-up of the texture of spongy bone. There's a small amount of compact bone found on the surface. If I slide a little bit more towards the middle, towards the shaft of the diaphysis of the bone, we'll see a thickening of the compact bone. You'll also be able to see the medullary cavity. 